If you're asked to fix a tech or financial problem by buying gift cards, don't do it. It's a scam. The warning bears repeating because people are still falling for the gift card trick. CBS 2's Lauren Victory takes us on a roller coaster ride of regret for two suburban seniors. I'm upset and I'm angry with myself, allowing myself to be taken. Isla Wolin and Mark allowing Hoffman get emotional myself. thinking about the reason for all these receipts. The wheeling couple got caught up in a classic scam. I'm just so glad we're able to uh, bring this story to the forefront uh, for other seniors that are out there. It started with a warning about a locked Amazon account. These texts seemed fishy, so Wolin called who she thought was the Amazon Prime support team. You have been hacked. Automatically, your heart starts to sink. A panicked Wolin rushed out the door, following instructions to catch the hackers by baiting them with a random gift card. She was promised her money back and did get an email with a quote-unquote refund. I thought, Okay, maybe this is legitimate. So she continued buying gift cards, a dozen for Nordstrom. Hoffman told a friend what was happening. Tell her they get off their phone right away. It's a scam. All in, how much money did you spend on gift cards? $6,000. They reported the problem to Nordstrom customer service and even got an email from the retailer confirming the cards were marked stolen. We were told at that point that None of them had been used. They all had full value. That they were putting a freeze on every one of the gift cards so they could not be used. That news from Nordstrom brought them a sigh of relief. Crisis averted, or so they thought. Three months later, we find out there's nothing on any of the cards. That left them on the hook for thousands of dollars spent. They asked Nordstrom how the supposedly frozen gift cards got used. It looks like somebody definitely made a mistake. I'm going, really? A positive but confusing twist in this tale led us to visit Hoffman and Wolin in person. After CBS2 reached out to Nordstrom, the company sent over a $550 balance left on the cards. Cards the seniors swear they were told were wiped clean. Obviously because of you and the pressure that you, you know, your CBS put on them without a doubt, that's exactly why she called me. An update also came from Capital One after we got involved. The bank granted Wolin a credit for one of the gift cards after previously denying her claim. Disputes she made for gift card purchases using her accounts at U.S. Bank also got a second look after CBS2 inquiries. Your energy and, and your follow-up and everything is just thank you. That's kind, but the accolades should go to them. If we don't tell our story, it's going to happen to someone else. Brave enough to broadcast their mistake as a warning to others. Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. No legitimate business or government entity will ask you to pay them with gift cards. In this unfortunate instance, Nordstrom wouldn't tell us much except to say it was a good faith gesture for them to return some money to Woolen. You may have noticed she purchased many of those gift cards at Jewel. A spokesperson for the grocery store tells us employees are trained to question customers, especially seniors who purchase gift cards.